Welcome back to Guru Beauty. I am Jodi and today I'm sharing with you my picks of some beautiful shades of the new limited edition Tom Ford Lips and Boys Lipstick Collection. These launched at least in Australia but I think worldwide on the 26th of December and they're available at David Jones only at the Sydney location and I believe the Melbourne location and they retail for 45 Australian dollars. Tom Ford is already known for his beautiful rich creamy shades of luxury lipstick. This is quite a large collection and some may already be sold out. I think they launched about 50 shades in this collection. All kinds of different finishes and shades and I thoroughly recommend Temtalia's website to have a look at different lip swatches. I think she swatched them all and I found that thoroughly helpful for me when choosing what shades I wanted when I called up in the very early hours of uh, Boxing Day morning for David Jones. I did not want to miss out. Highly anticipated collection here. Now they are designed for like a smaller purse I guess is what you'd say. They are smaller than the regular size Tom Ford lipsticks. This is the Tom Ford Lip Color Shines. It's a longer slimmer tube. This is the regular Tom Ford lip color and then this is the size of the Lips and Boys so it's definitely a mini version of the regular size and then this is the free sort of gift with purchase giveaway size that they sometimes give you at the counter. I ordered eight and you would not believe the stress of living in Western Australia which is already known for its heat and its hot summers. About 10 days after I ordered these from David Jones over the Christmas period they still hadn't arrived yet over Christmas and New Year's and that kind of thing and we happen to have the hottest day in Perth in over 20 years. It hit 46 degrees Celsius and I knew these were going to hit my doorstep any day. I had to work and uh, I just envisioned these sitting on my doorstep, these beautiful lipsticks melting away. But I was so delighted when they arrived and to find that they were all in one piece. So if you want to see the eight shades that I got, I will be putting them on for you and just letting you know what I think of them. This is a first impressions video keep on watching. First up, this one I was really worried about whether it was going to be a fantastic choice or not. This is the only lipstick that I actually already have worn and I've got to say I'm so so pleased that I got it. I love it. This shade here is Luca and Luca is a beautiful shimmery apricot color. Because of the light sort of frosty shimmer of Luca, it looked beautiful on Temptalia but I was really worried this was going to come off like really high sheen 1980s frosty look but I absolutely love it. The shade is perfect. I love it on its own and I also really love it. Just darkened up, deepened up with a bit of a lip pencil. I'm so, so pleased with Luca. It's one of those whack on and go type shades. Really, really beautiful. The next shade I got was Patrick, a really soft sort of peachy pink. And this one has definitely a different finish to Luca. This one is just a beautiful peachy coral pink shade. Definitely a different finish to Luca. It's more of a creamy finish and uh, it really just brightens up your face without being absolutely neon creamy crazy. It looks beautiful without a lip liner. I really, really like Patrick. I think this is one of the more popular colors out of the collection. Matthew is very, very similar in finish to Patrick. It is more of a peachy shade. So if you like something a little bit warmer, a little bit more orange, then uh, Matthew is going to be beautiful for you. You definitely can build up the shades with two layers of lipstick and you want to make sure that your lips are in a decent condition when you're using these lipsticks or they can sort of highlight any dry flaky bits on your lips. But beautiful shade there with Matthew. Michael is a much brighter pink than the other two. Again, a very similar finish to Patrick and Matthew. It's absolutely beautiful. It's definitely not too garish and the finish is very creamy. It certainly feels very moisturizing on the lips. A beautiful shade. I can see myself wearing this one on days where I really just want to brighten up my face a little bit more, but be nothing too scary. Carrie is one of those beautiful sort of mauvey, everyday plummy type shades. I really love this one. I think this is going to be beautiful all year round. It's very, very creamy, very smooth and buttery feeling on the lips. I really, really like Carrie. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can see it's more of a neutral, wearable color. And I think it's going to suit a lot of mature ladies. Richard is probably one of my most favorite shades out of these eight. I love them all, but very, very creamy. It's a little bit warmer in shade than Carrie. This is one of those lipsticks that's not a nude. It's definitely going to add a finished look to your face. It adds color to your face, but it's very neutral. So it's going to go with a gorgeous smoky eye or a very natural eye look as well. I absolutely love Richard. 
Guillermo is one of those shades that is definitely more intense. It's a nice take on that vampy look without being really, really deep, really, really deathly. It's definitely adding colour. It's very kind of in tune with that 90s trend that's happening right now. As we head into fall in Australia at the end of summer, I think this is going to be a beautiful shade, but also fantastic with a tan at night with glowy skin as well. Really, really like Guillermo. I wish I knew how to pronounce it. Didier is a gorgeous sort of magenta berry shade. It's a beautiful shade for dressing up any look. It definitely takes you to a sophisticated type finish. A lovely creamy finish and I think Didier would look beautiful with a bold black liner or really gorgeous with a bronzy gold shimmery eye. Also would be beautiful on pale skinned girls as well as tanned girls alike. I think that this is a beautiful universal berry shade. In case you were wondering how they all compared, I thought I would swatch them all together on my hand for you. On the top line we have Luca, Patrick, Matthew, followed by Michael. You can see that these two are quite similar but slightly different in terms of warmth. One has a little bit more orange. We have Carrie on the end there, followed by Richard. Then we have Guillermo and lastly Didier. I do really love these lipsticks. Just like the Tom Ford original permanent lipsticks, they feel beautiful on the lips. They are very creamy, they're pigmented, they're gorgeous. I do get asked a lot about Tom Ford and you know whether I think it's worth spending the money. $62 for a lipstick or even $45 for a smaller size lipstick. No, what are you getting for that extra money above and beyond what you'd get at the drugstore? It's the luxurious packaging. It's the beautiful feel of the weighty, weighty product in your hand as you're putting it on. I really don't think that you're getting that much more in terms of what you see and what others see on your lips. They're just a beautiful product to use. It's Tom Ford, it looks gorgeous when you're using it. It's a luxurious experience to put it on. But you know, $45 is a lot of money. So bear that in mind. There are plenty of wonderful drugstore lipsticks out there and higher end lipsticks that aren't quite as much money as those Tom Ford lipsticks. But if you are buying a gift for someone, if you are looking for a treat for yourself, or if you're generally into high end makeup, yes, I 100% recommend Tom Ford makeup. Go for it. So that's about it from me. I hope that that you enjoyed this video a quick look at my picks from the Tom Ford lips and boys collection please do let me know down below if you have a favorite from the collection if you picked anything up or if you've got your eye on something or if you missed out on something that you really had your heart set on I would love to hear from you so thank you so much for watching have yourself a fantastic day and don't forget you are beautiful thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really soon bye